New Tesla bot video just dropped. This one shows the robot autonomously sorting objects, doing a bit of yoga, and more. To understand the finer details in this video, what it reveals about Tesla's approach to AI, and what separates Optimus from other robots, I asked one of CNET's AI and computing experts to break it all down. They're making pretty good headway compared to what we saw back in October when they first debuted Optimus, which I think formally is called the Tesla bot, but almost nobody, including Tesla, <laughs> calls it that. I think the most interesting thing here is they're trying to make a, a humanoid robot, a bipedal humanoid robot, it has a lot of balance issues. But on the other hand, it can fit in to a world that's already designed for humans. We've seen videos of robots sorting objects before, so what makes this video from Tesla so special? It was pretty impressive the way uh, it moved very smoothly. It also was able to update its behavior very rapidly, dynamically. When you saw a person you know, switch one of the blocks that it had just placed in the bin, pull it back out, the robot was able to quickly figure that out and grab it again. And last, I think this is uh, perhaps more subtle, but I think very important, you saw the robot using its, its full body. So it wasn't just moving its arm, it was moving its shoulders, its hips. Ultimately, if, the, if uh, Tesla wants to succeed in making you know, a very coordinated, useful, general purpose robot, that kind of ability is necessary. Tesla debuted the demo video along with a tweet, or X post, I guess. What do you call them now? Let me know in the comments, wrong answers only that claims its neural network is trained fully end-to-end -end, with video in and controls out. I had to ask Steven what all that meant. I think the most important thing in there is that uh, their AI training data is video. They feed a huge amount of video data in there and then the, the AI system learns to recognize the patterns and then is able to sort of encode that into uh, a system that then does stuff that controls the robot. There are a variety of different robots designed for use in warehouses, even some that went with a humanoid design. With that in mind, it might feel as though Tesla is a late challenger in the contest to make humanoid or warehouse robots, but the company's efforts to make autonomous cars might provide useful experience toward that goal. An autonomous vehicle and a humanoid robot, they're both a computer that's got some sensory apparatus that's making decisions on how to behave, how to move, how to navigate through the world, how to perform various operations. So from a very high level, they're similar. And I think one of the interesting, more direct uh, connections is that they're both now trained on video data. So I think that uh, as this technology develops, it's, it's, you know, it's uncertain how well it will work, but it's interesting that Tesla is adopting that same approach both for the Optimus bot and for its autonomous vehicle. The video of the robot is presented at 1.5 times speed. Here it is slowed back down to regular speed just to get a sense of the difference. It's worth noting that Tesla does have a history of making exaggerated claims about what its technologies can do, most notably the full self-driving debacle. So perhaps good to take any news from the company with a little grain of salt. Obviously we've had a lot of delays with FSD. I would not be at all surprised to see delays as we discover how difficult it really is to make a general purpose humanoid robot. We could potentially see them as soon as 2027, according to Elon Musk last year. I would be surprised, but you know, maybe it's possible. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it slips. The background music in Tesla's demo video, interestingly, sounds like a remix of the score from the 2014 sci-fi film Ex Machina. Specifically, the music from the scene when, spoiler alert, the robots rise up against their creator. Interesting choice. There's certainly a risk that advanced humanoid robots could replace human workers, take the jobs. I think that's a little bit sci-fi. We're not there yet. It's clearly with AI, it's a worthy discussion. We're looking at that with the text-based bots. So the question is whether a physical bot like this could do physical labor for people, change oil or pick parts out of a warehouse. I think that's a long way away, but it's certainly a, a possibility. What do you think of Optimus? Game changer or overhyped? Useful helper or job zapper? Let me know your thoughts, fears, and sci-fi dreams down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.